hello guys welcome back to the channel in this tutorial we are going to extract the building footprint from the satellite image using arc map we need a satellite image and uh, the study area boundary to extract the building footprints for carrying out the exercise using arc map click on add data and add the satellite image for this tutorial i'm going to add this h32 .tif file i'm going to select it and click add now i have added the satellite image to the working space you can zoom in and uh, see the features of these uh, satellite images i could able to see so many number of buildings water bodies and uh, all the geological aspects in this uh, satellite image now i need to add the study area boundary which is the satellite image boundary i have a separate uh, shape file and i have added it to the screen just uh, right click and look into the properties of the shape file check for the coordinate reference system uh, this layer is in wgs 1984 utm zone 43 north make sure that the satellite images also in the same projection coordinate reference system which is uh, wgs 1984 utm zone 43 north yes both the shape file and satellite image are in same coordinate reference system now this shape file is in green color fully shaded in green color i am going to change it to hollow so that i could able to see the satellite image clearly inside the boundary you can see here that there are so many different types of buildings with different kinds of roof like flat roof flat roof some are uh, gabled roof hedged roof and the roof materials are in concrete metal tiled and uh, other kind of uh, roof materials is also available in each buildings now the objective of this uh, particular exercise is to figure out the different types of uh, buildings and their uh, roof roof types whether it is flat gabled or uh, hipped i have to categorize the different kind of roof types as well as the different type of uh, materials which the roof uh, is made of like concrete whether it is tiled or metal now i can also add a base map for uh, further reference because if the satellite image is uh, not uh, clear for identifying the buildings i can use this uh, additional base map from arc map which is the satellite imageries if the net configuration I, if the network is in good speed as well as the system configuration is in good condition you can load this satellite imagery very fast now just click on the open attribute table the first thing we have to do is we have to add some more uh, field to this uh, attribute table to complete our objective i am once again saying the objective uh, the first objective is to identify the building material roof type the second objective is to identify the uh, materials used in the roof the first uh, field i'm adding is roof type i'm changing the type to text and click okay and again add field roof material and uh, i'm changing the type to text and click okay and again i'm adding a new field named as area but the type is double click okay again add field perimeter and then change the type to double click okay again add field latitude and longitude first time entering longitude which is x axis double okay and then latitude which is y axis the type is double click okay now we have added all the fields to the attribute table 
namely roof type the roof material area perimeter latitude and longitude these are the objectives of our uh, study just close the attribute table now i have two base maps one is the default base map from arc map and the satellite image that we have downloaded now click on this edit and click start editing only by clicking this start editing i can able to uh, extract the building footprints now i have only one polygon here by opening the attribute table i can see here that i have only one polygon in this uh, shape file layer i am going to name it as flat roof type and concrete so the first step is i am going to extract this category alone in this style wherever a flat roofed building with concrete material i am going to identify it and then digitize all the all the buildings in this style for that i am opening the attribute table and naming it as flat and roof material as concrete for extracting the building footprint i am going to use only one tool named as cut polygon tool for digitizing the entire study area i am going to use only one tool named as cut polygon tool here it is uh, before that select the polygon and then click on cut polygon so the first category is flat buildings with concrete materials just to zoom into the tile zoom into the study area and identify where there is concrete buildings with flat roof is available here i can see so many number of buildings available in the study area uh, this is one kind of flat roofed uh, building it appears to be flat and uh, using the base map i can confirm it whether it is a concrete uh, roof or metal or tiled roof it is concrete roof roof it appears to be concrete roof so i have confirmed that this particular buildings are all flat typed and have concrete material now i can use this cut polygon i have already enabled this cut polygon tool the cursor just left click on the boundary of the building 1 2 3 4 and at the end don't click at the corner just uh, cut the polygon similarly i can able to visualize so many number of buildings uh, very close to the uh, close to this building again same same thing i am not making any changes again i am repeating the same procedure drawing the boundary of the building so again i am checking the base map i can i am confirming that it is a flat roofed concrete material building drawing the outer boundary using cut polygon tool click on the boundaries and then cut the polygon similarly we have to draw the entire flat roofed concrete building like this available in the entire tile it takes up to 5 to 6 hours to completely digitize this tile now i am going to the next category so far i have uh, digitized the flat roofed building and flat roofed material we can automatically see that the other newly formed polygons are also named as flat roofed and roof material is concrete now for calculating this area perimeter longitude and latitude i can uh, right click and click on calculate geometry for calculating the area it is the unit is square kilometer for the selected feature alone i am just calculating calculate the perimeter change the property to perimeter and the unit is uh, i am giving it as kilometers and click okay you can able to see here that for the selected uh, polygon alone the values are being calculated 
and go to longitude right click calculate geometry instead of uh, area select x coordinate always remember longitude is x and the unit is decimal degrees click ok and similarly for latitude click calculate geometry change the uh, sorry before that uh, change the property to y coordinate of centroid and the units is decimal degrees click ok and uh, we have calculated for the selected polygon alone if we need to calculate for the entire uh, entire tile just uh, save edit and stop edit and then again go to open attribute table select the column and then repeat the same procedure calculate geometry now i can able to calculate the area for the entire uh, polygons drawn on the screen similarly the perimeter also you can calculate by repeating the same procedure right clicking calculate geometry instead of the area select perimeter and instead of unit in meters select uh, kilometers if you need it in uh, different units also you can select similarly for longitude select the property as x coordinate of uh, centroid for longitude it is x and for latitude it is y and the unit is decimal degrees for both the latitude and longitude click ok similarly for uh, latitude So by this way we can able to calculate the area, perimeter, longitude and latitude for the entire tile once all the building uh, polygons are uh, extracted or digitized. So initially I have gone for flat roofed and the roof material is concrete. Now I am going to move to the next category. The next category is uh, concrete with uh, gabled roof and uh, hipped roof again go to this uh, attribute table change the next category change the outer polygons name to instead of flat uh, before that start editing then only you can able to change the values inside the box instead of flat i am just going for gabled gabled roof type so the next category is concrete buildings with gabled roof if you are not uh, sure what is meant by gabled roof uh, you can able to just google what is gabled and hipped roof see this picture will give a clear idea of what is a how a gabled roof and hipped roof buildings appears a gabled roof has only two sides a sloped roof with two sides whereas hipped roof have four sides uh, now i have zoomed into the area where there are a gabled roof buildings are uh, present in the satellite image I can see a series of buildings which are gabled roof buildings. With the help of base map, I am just rechecking whether it is gabled roof or not. Yes, it appears to be gabled roof, and the material of the building is concrete. Or if it is a tiled, then you can just choose tile. Just for demonstration, I am using this building as concrete material with gabled roof i am not using a different uh, tool for digitizing this uh, building footprint again the same cut polygon tool before that select the uh, entire polygon select feature and select the entire polygon and then click on cut polygon select the boundary of the building and cut the polygon the same way you can uh, you can extract the building footprint for the entire tile wherever there is a gabled roof building with concrete material you can identify all the materials and then digitize for the entire area so 
so i have created a new number of polygons in the name of uh, often go and uh, save edits and then go to attribute table now uh, i have digitized four new number five new number of polygons and all the names are renamed as roof type as gabled and the roof material is concrete so by this way i can categorize all the other kind of uh, roof types the next roof type is heaped and then roof material is tiled metalled and all the other categories i can able to digitize and take the building footprints by just changing the outer polygons name alone and the same way we have calculated area perimeter latitude and longitude for the previous fields for the entire tile i can calculate all the all the objectives so this is how uh, we have to take the building footprints for the study area now we will uh, show you how the output how, how uh, the entire tile is digitized for the same h32 i have saved it as a map package so that i can able to visualize it without uh, any changes just double click on the map package the same h32 after completely digitizing how it appears you can able to visualize now so this is the output here i am opening the open attribute table i have totally marked up 2084 polygons in this h32 alone and uh, you can see here that the roof material is concrete and the roof type is flat similarly there are tiled materials and flat roof so other categories like metalled building material with a heaped roof and remaining buildings are named as others by this way we have completed this entire uh, entire tile with the help of the satellite image we have digitized the area i have already uh, shown you how to digitize you can also modify the symbology instead of uh, this colors also we can also change the colors you can also look into the attribute table you can extract all the values in excel format for that just uh, go to attribute table and go to export and in the saving like location change it to dbase table so that you can download this entire attribute table in excel format and make analysis for further analysis you can also change the symbology to different colors and click okay the outer uh, boundary i have changed it to blue color i am reverting back to black color itself similarly for h32 instead of black color i am just uh, giving it red color the buildings will appear in red color building footprints will appear in red color so by this way we can able to extract the building footprints using arc map thank you for watching thank you guys